What's up there YouTubers and fellow writers? The chemist back in the garage again, cooking up another DIY for you on how to troubleshoot an issue that you may or may not experience in your lifetime with your bike, but uh, fortunately for me, I always got the luck. I always say if, if I didn't have bad luck, I wouldn't have no luck at all. Um, ran to this issue the other day when I went to go ahead and start my bike up, and this is from a cold start. My bike was sitting in the garage uh, at, at work, and at four o'clock in the afternoon, I go take it out in the middle of the street, and all of a sudden I hear this loud screech coming from the left side uh, of the panel here. Um, to give you an idea of what that screech sounded like, if you've ever heard a car where the belt is slipping when they start it up or they give it gas and you hear that loud screech, that's what I was experiencing in this situation. But not only that, I was hearing a, a loud rattling sound uh, as well. So, you know, being somewhat mechanically inclined, I guess you could say, uh, I instantly thought, damn, I must have threw uh, either a, a piston ring or one of the shims came loose around the crankshaft and uh, I was thinking this is all bad. So I pulled the bike over to the side I actually pushed the bike over the side and uh, let it sit for a few minutes and I tried to crank it a couple of times and this the bike would not crank so second my second guess was well maybe the the starter you know seized up and um, that was causing the issue but uh, I let it sit again for a few minutes and then I cranked it back up again and, and all was fine rolled the bike home something like 30 miles home and uh, bike rode totally fine the whole entire way. Now, granted, it was a little bit loud because uh, something was rattling loose inside inside this area. And uh, when I got home, well, now this is the second day I'm home, and I kind of want to show you what that loud screeching was. And like I said, you might not ever experience this this issue, but just in case you do, I want to go ahead and have this video ready for you. So, since it since the uh, sound was coming loud from this side I wanted to go ahead and check this area and I could hear a ticking noise from from this area and when I went ahead and pulled this apart we're gonna, I'm gonna give you a close-up of what I saw inside here now those are those are metal shavings uh, inside the stator area and what happened was I probably about three or four months ago I had replaced this this stator and what happened the bolts came loose now i really cranked down on these bolts when i tightened them in there um as as you should but for some reason or another these bolt the bolts came loose well they're all loose now and i just pulled this apart no more than like four or five minutes ago and as you can see these bolts are not even hand tight so that loud screeching sound was the actual stator wobbling around in here but even more so was the bolts coming loose and tapping the inside there and those metal shavings are not the shavings uh, with inside the hub here but it's actually the bolt that got grinded down as you can see so if you ever experience this problem and you hear that loud screeching sound coming from this area you can't crank your bike over take a look at this area right here this might be your issue at the first start all right, guys, so I'm just going to add this part in here real quick for you. Um, so I went ahead and cleaned everything out. Like I said, there was a lot of metal shavings all inside here. And what I used to basically clean it out was uh, some paper towels, which you can see down there, and some electronic uh, contact cleaner, which is a little more less abrasive than, say, using um, something like brake clean or something like that. But I went ahead and I sprayed this down. I didn't want to spray it with brake, with brake clean because I was afraid that it might eat up the, um, the plastic that sits on here on the stator so um, kind of want to do use something a little more safe and less abrasive so um, as you can see from the inside right here we're looking at the, the inside of this hub right here and it, it's pretty much all chewed up from where the uh, from where the, the bolts that were loose rubbed against there and that was that was that screeching noise that I was experiencing so um, if this does happen to you and you know you do experience this issue you're gonna to wanna to head, go ahead and clean this out as thoroughly as possible. You don't want no metal shavings up into the motor. Um, I'm probably gonna to have to do an oil change as well because uh, I don't really know what you know got down into the holes in there. I can't really get a good view in there, but there we go. I don't know what really got into the engine. So I'm probably gonna also do a, an oil change uh, within the next few days. Um, I'm not gonna ride the bike. It's Fortunately for me, it's Thursday, so uh, I only got one more day to go. I guess I can drive into work for one day. It's only a two and a half hour ride in a car. So, but um, at any rate, I kind of wanted to show you guys, you know, what you need to do if you do experience these problems. Um, I also wanted to, I took some pictures, and I'm probably going to post, post those up as well in between this video. But um, kind of wanted to give you an idea of what 
how bad the bolt actually got shaven down. So let's see if we can get a good issue in there. So uh, there we go. I can't get it too straight, but uh, could put these gloves on. But you can see how bad, how badly damaged that bolt was, and how much it got eaten there. So uh, there's almost nothing left of the inside of that bolt. So uh, I'm gonna have to go ahead and order me a replacement one from from the dealership. This thing will probably cost me like 50 bucks or something ridiculous. But at any rate, <sighs> it needs to be done. And uh, kind of wanted to show you that. I went ahead and also cleaned the inside of here, made sure that there was no metal shavings in there as well. So that's all cleaned out. But uh, yeah, uh, lesson learned here. Always make sure you tighten those bolts down, and uh, maybe put some thread lock on that as well. Because uh, this is, I've changed this out maybe three or four times in its lifetime, and I've never had it gone get loose on me once. This is the first time that it's ever happened. So uh, at any rate, uh, I'll let I'll let us move on. Hope this helped you out.